So, I managed to read uh, Venom number one by Donny Cates and artwork by Ryan Stegman. Now, admittedly, I was kind of like, uh, do we really need the... I, know, I understand why we have the Venom comic, because we have the Venom movie, and we're still doing this. And honestly, Mike Carey's uh, run on Venom was less than stellar. I mean, and Cullen Bunn's return to Venom's been eh, but Mike Carey's run on Venom was ugh. I've never really cared much for Mike Carey, uh, Mike Carey's work, honestly. If I'm if I'm being straight, uh, Mike Carey's work has not been, you know, I've never really liked a lot of what he's done with um with in terms of comics. And yeah, but for a lark, I was just like, eh, let's see what they do with Venom. And the new team, everyone had been like going nuts over the new creative team for Venom. And uh, for those who don't know, like I said, it is Donnie Cates, who I had not un. I never. It's not that I've I, I've never liked the guy. I've never. I, it's that I've never heard of Donny Cates's work. I've never heard of Donny Cates's work. But everyone was like, "Oh my God, Donny Cates on Venom! That's perfect. That's great. That's uh, you know, do more, do more. You know." And Ryan Steg. I know Ryan Stegman's artwork. You know, it's perfect for horror, and this is what it really feels like. And again, like I said, I never heard of Donny Cates, but I think I should. Because this comic is, um, is like, wow. <laughs> it's really cool. It's con it's a pretty cool concept. It's out there, but at the same time, after how many times we've tried to redo the origin of the symbiote, um, a f like several times over with Bendis in the Planet of the Symbiotes, um, you know, from Secret Wars to all of that, it's, it's interesting. And uh, and I'm like, all right. So I guess we're re it's comics. I've come to uh, I've come to realize that yeah, this is what happens in comics. So anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, I've never really heard of Donny Cates' work, but I'm gonna start because like everyone said that his Doctor Strange run was really good. It's not that it's just that I've never heard of his work, but now I'm gonna start because whoa. And like I said. Um, also, going back to um, the Venom, the symbiote stuff, is that, yeah, they've rebooted the symbiote origin so many times, and it's comics, whatever. I'm, I'm numb to it at this point, so. But where they're going with this, I'm curious to see where they're going with it, because it's definitely the horror aspect, which we've been sorely lacking from the Venom comics for a while. I mean, the last time I saw horror in a Venom comic was, like, a lot of, uh, was some of the Rick Remender stuff. Keyword, some. But... Uh, for the most part, it was more spy act. It was more like dark action stuff. But if you want to go to like last time Venom was was actually a scary creature, if you want to go back to like the real horror origins of Venom, just look for his first appearance in Venom number. Th excuse me, Spider-Man number three hundred and everything building up to that. That was kind of the last time we saw a true horror Venom. And yes, there had been other comics like the Carnage miniseries, but they never really felt like a horror story. Donny Cates, however, is like, yeah, I'm doing a horror story with Venom. And so far, this is this is turning out quite well. So let's get into the story, shall we? So the story is, is that um, the, the symbiote is starting to freak out on Eddie. And what I like about this is that, you know, that, you know um, Donny Cates talked about this in an interview where the, Eddie was way too welcoming of the Venom symbiote. He was way too um, welcoming of the symbiote in that uh, Spider-Man was wary of it, and, um, you know, he was wary of it, and he knew it was alive, it was a living organism that lived, like, in his head, but Eddie was like, oh, sure, man, we'll, we'll bond, we'll be besties forever, but now, um, Cates is basically playing with, no, Eddie should have, like, um, should have learned, like, he should have been, like, um, he should have known better than to just let an alien creature get into his under his skin, literally. So, the symbiote is starting to freak out hard, like it's speaking in an old Nordic language. Yeah, I'll get to that in a moment. It's speaking like in an old Nordic language. Um, it's it's actually acting on its own, much like it did with Spider-Man when it was with Peter. Um, and Eddie is like unaware of it. And the symbiote is, like, talking in his head and becoming more violent. Now, yes, Eddie is known as the le lethal protector as Venom, but at the same time, he's now, like, freaking out, like, this is, this is, whoa, what is going on? And Eddie is really starting to question 
his own sanity, because now the one thing he could always depend on, the symbiote, is really starting to freak out. Now, you're probably wondering, alright, old Nordic stuff, what does that mean? Yeah, apparently the symbiotes have, been, have attacked Beowulf. Yeah, the symbiote, we go back to an old Nordic time with, um, we go back to an old Nordic scene of Eddie having these weird visions in his dreams, and one of them is the symbiotes attacking, the symbiote attacking um, these, these Vikings, and one of them cries out for Beowulf. And the big thing at the end is that we see this creature called, the symbiote's called God, and all the, it's not just Eddie who's, you know, the Venom symbiote that is freaking out, it's also the other symbiotes on Earth that are freaking out as well, and it's, there's this creature they call God that is coming. And it makes me wonder, so are they going to say that the, that the, that the symbi that the, uh, creature, the winged creature that we see at the end of the story is Grendel? Or Grendel's mother? It could be that the symbiote, because here's the thing I've learned about, if you, if you know your old story, you know, your old Nordic stories and, and the story of Beowulf, is that Beowulf, they never give a description of Grendel and his mother. They never gave, like, the story never gave a proper description of Grendel and his mother and even the dragon. They just said, they're monsters. You gotta go fight them. That's all they said about it. So that's my thing, and that's what I'm wondering about, is that, are they saying that the symbiote was Grendel and this creature coming down was its mother? Um, or what they perceived as their mother and what they perceived to be Grendel was the Venom symbiote? I don't know, but it's a really interesting concept. It's, admittedly, I was like, alright, that's a little, that's a little much, but when I read it on a whole, I was like, oh, this might be cool. <laughs> I was, that was literally my mindset. I was like, I don't know, that doesn't sound right. But then I read the story and I was like, oh. Oh, well this shut me up. And because, yeah, admittedly, I was like, really? We have to do the whole retell the symbiote origin again? But then I was like, eh, shut up, I'll, you know, what, you know, they're gonna keep doing this, might as well get over it. So, yeah. Um, we do get to see other villains in here, like the Grizzly and Jack-O-Lantern, but, ooh. Yeah, I don't want to say what happens, but remember when I said that the symbiote was acting against Brock's wishes? Yeah. But anyway, getting back to this. So this is the part, the first story of the sto of this story arc called Rex. And also, I want to bring up that man there in the interview I was reading of this uh, for uh, Venom number one is that Donnie, uh, you know, the edit the new editor in chief, uh, CB. I cannot pronounce his last name, but CB basically was talking about, you know, there are some great character devi defining moments like Daredevil Born Again and Dark Phoenix Saga for the X-Men. This Venom Rex is going to be Venom's Born Again. And I was like, oh, 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 that was some big words. I, I don't, you know, I don't doubt that this is going to, from what it looks like, is that this is going to be a cool story. But I sincerely doubt this is going to be Venom's Born Again. I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. I could be totally wrong in that regard. Um, but it could, you know, this could actually floor me. Just, but then again, this is just the first issue. And sometimes, even though it's a first, a good first issue, that doesn't mean that it, you know it's going to stay. But you know, a lot of people have a lot of faith in Donny Cates, and this has really hooked me on his work. I've heard the name, like I said, I've heard the name, but I've never really seen his work. But after seeing, after reading this, I'm now like, yeah, I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm really curious to see where this goes. You know, mixing, you know, uh, the Nordic, you know, the story of Beowulf with Venom. Who freaking thinks of that? And I like that we're going back to a horror theme with Venom instead. Of, you know, it, there's still gonna be some anti-hero stuff, but we're doing it in the horror aspect. So yeah, totally. I am, uh, I am so far on board with what, uh, you know, with Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman's work. Um, hopefully this continues. I'm still, like, I don't know if this is gonna be, like, if this is what, the, you know, the editor-in-chief says, like, oh, this is Venom's Born Again. I don't know if I'm gonna go that far, but maybe this will surprise me. That's my thing, is that I think this may surprise me, but, and maybe it will be, like, Venom's Born Again or Dark Phoenix Saga. This will be, like, the definitive Venom story. Um... Sure. I guess the, the the last time the word definitive Venom story was it was it was the birth of Venom story arc. That was the, his definitive story. <laughs> but anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below if you've read Venom number one by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. Just comment below. What do you guys think of this? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? 
Um, what do you guys think of Venom, you know, of uh, Eddie, you know, trying to, starting to distrust the symbiote? And furthermore, what do you think of this whole um, sim the Venom symbiote being tied to, you know, the story of Beowulf? And do you think it was really the Grendel and this creature coming down as Grendel's mother or something like that? Um, really curious to see what you guys have to say about this. And also, do you think Thor's gonna show up? Because again, it's Nordic stuff, so we will have a Venom versus Thor fight, or Venom-Thor team up, I don't know. But anyway, once again, um, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.